Welcome everybody. Hey, this is the resource that transitions the learners from those smaller ratios we've been working on to the larger ratios. This is it. And what we're going to do is we're going to bridge the learners from uh, 1 to 2, ratios of 1 to 2, or 3 to 4, and so on, all the way up to 1 to 1,000, or 10 to 1,000, and so on. And the reason 1,000 is so important is because there's 1,000 milliliters in a liter, and there's 1,000 grams in a kilogram, and liters and kilograms are kind of the base unit for any of the work that learners are going to be doing in the real world to do with ratios. So it's important that we begin to bridge them to this point and get them to understand it. And that's what this resource is. So you're going to hand out some grid paper to the learners and you might write on the board the ratio 3 to 1 and ask them to draw a representation of what that is, you know, just to draw it in. And as you can see on the screen there, 3 to 1. And, uh, and here is a real uh, learner's interpretation of the task. This is what they did. Looks like a cigarette. It's not a cigarette. It's a 3 to 1 ratio and uh, they're absolutely correct. And uh, this particular resource is going to be available as a PowerPoint. If you wanted to use it in class with your learners, you could do that. And now we're going to transition to 6 to 1. So you're not going to show them this picture, but you're going to write a 6 to 1 ratio on the board and ask them to draw that in on the grid paper as well. And uh, here's what a learner did, 6 to 1. So learners are having success. If you've done all the other activities as well, they're probably thinking that this is fairly easy. And again, this is with our uh, ethos of success. It's great, the learners are learning, but we're going to transition them more as we go. So now we're transitioning to 20 to 1. You'd write 20 to 1 on the board and ask them to draw it in. One of the additional benefits of this activity is that learners are developing their multiplicative thinking. So they're also uh, thinking about how to represent 20 using the grid that they have. And here it is, 20 to 1. And this is what a learner drew, a box which covers 20 and one on the side. So that is a 20 to 1 ratio. And as you can see, we're just transitioning them up. So here we have a 25 to 1 ratio. And you'd be asking your learners to draw this in on the grid paper. Here is an example of what some learners did, 25 to 1. And then you might show this on the whiteboard or discuss it and so on. So again, everybody is having success. And now we're really going to move to the interesting part. This is the final one we're going to do, and this is asking them to draw the ratio 50 to 1. And by now they're probably getting a little bit bored with this activity, and that's okay because we've sort of arrived. 50 to 1, you want them to draw it. Here's an example of what a learner did. And now we're going to transition into the litres and kilograms aspect of ratios. Now that we've established a 50 to 1 ratio, and the learners understand that for every 50 units, we have to have a corresponding 1 unit. For example, if it's a 50 to 1 petrol to oil mix, for every 50 units of petrol, we need one corresponding unit of oil. Then I bring in a litre, and I make sure they understand that there are 1,000 millilitres in a litre. And this is where you can go back to your metric measurement system. But it's fairly essential that the learners have this understanding. Within one litre, you have 1,000 millilitres. And then the question is, using this grid, how many lots of 50 fit into 1,000? I get them to work it out in groups, how many units of 50 will fit into one litre. And they do stuff like this, where they draw them in or try to mark it out. It's not always uh, as well organised as this, but the idea is that they're working it out in groups, and they begin to realise, oh, there's 20 lots of 50 in 1,000. And therefore, we know that for each of those single units of 50, there's one corresponding unit. So for every 50 millilitres of petrol, there's one corresponding millilitre of oil and then they can begin to see it. So that means for one litre, you're going to have 20 millilitres of oil and so on. And that's how that ratio works. Now I would spend a long time on this kind of problem with different ratios. So if it's 25 to one, I'd have them do the same thing and work out how many 25s fit into 1000. And I would use a grid just like this so the learners can work it out on paper, discuss it and so on. And then we'd begin to move into a formulaic way of kind of doing it. But you might also expand it like this once learners are getting an understanding. If you have two litres, well how many units of 50 are in two litres? Well we know there's 20 in one litre, so it must be double that. So then we know that there must be double the amount of single units. So for two litres, we know that there's 50 to 1. So the idea is to work out how many lots of 50 are in each litre and then make sure we get the corresponding other side of the ratio. Those last two pages, there's a lot of information in there, but by using that grid, by using group work and lots of practical examples, you can really begin to help learners to establish this 
But essentially, these last two pages are a great way to getting learners to thinking about and making connections between uh, ratios and liters and kilograms and so on. Thank you.